All right, uh, I'm here with Chris. It's the 8th of May, and we have broken down the Supreme Court site into three distinct places. Membership, archives, and education. And then there's a call to action section over here. Um, as you can see, membership uh, has in it the calendar that goes to a calendar archive, newsletter that goes to a newsletter archive, and then special projects. I feel like that might need to be renamed something a little bit more intuitive. Over here, we have the archive homepage, and we've decided to break down the actual archive into three more manageable chunks. The first one is focusing on the laws that the court passed that influenced the state's development. The second part is on the actual body of the court itself. And then the third is the people that have comprised the court over its uh, history. Within the law section, we have uh, an overview of the court history. Uh, cases that were important in the state's development. And then finally, a link to the verdict of history book. Next, dealing with the court as an actual body of legislation, uh, we have the court history timeline. Uh, the current section, the current division is in four 50-year chunks, going back to the beginning of the 1800s. Then there is the physical location of the court building, where the court was, and that's labeled Homes of the Court. I don't know, that seems seems like it might actually be, could use a, maybe a rename. The final section of the archive is the people that have made up the court. We're going to have the first part be the biographies, and we've decided to merge the biography and the portraits together. So that way it's not two separate pages, but one page that has both the history of the judge and then the actual uh, portrait information available as well. Then there are chief justices that have served throughout the years on the court. We're going to have a page dedicated to that. Next we're going to have the court composition. Who sat on the court and when? How many justices there were doing that? Uh, then there is the PDF or Excel document that discloses who arrived, who left, and the uh, circumstances of them leaving and how long they served for. And additionally, this is also in a web page format that we can probably include. I will admit it was overwhelming that there was a lot of information in there. Uh, women in the law. This is not separated to women who have served on the court. Just for example, Jennifer Granholm, our latest governor, was on there, and she has not served as a justice. Um, next, special sessions, uh, the index page. We actually have a rename note on that card because, I don't know, I just, as an outsider, I didn't know what that meant when I looked at it. Then we have speeches and vignettes. These are, Chris, help me out on this. What, what? These are some of the speeches given at um, some of the special events of the court. That there are the transcripts and sometimes recordings of those speeches. Got it. Got it. Thank you, sir. And then the final one is the oral index of interviews with the justices. I feel like there could be a more skillful treatment of this than us navigating to an off-site location where it looked to me like the actual mp3 pile was embedded into the web page so there was no way to stop it right and unfor but unfortunately um, judging by the address 
these interviews may actually belong to MSU's library. We'll, we'll check. I mean, you know, yeah. if we if we approach them under the yeah. and, and auspice of us redevelop, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> give them to us. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's public domain. I right. mean, you know, I don't. Yep. And then uh, finally, here we are in the education section. Um, we have the Learning Center, which we've decided is a pretty nice uh, resource available to the children of the state, and it's very much under underdone as it currently is. We have a link that goes to the Michigan Court uh, website, then it's all text, there's no imagery, and it pretty much looks very dry. So we're going to suggest redeveloping that page to make it more lively and engaging for people that want to plan field trips. There's a lesson plan, and that's an index page. Uh, the two current sections are middle school and high school, and we actually want to branch out and include a uh, law school here. We think that law schools should be uh, learning about this stuff and incorporating this into lesson plans because, you know, it just makes sense to me. There's a glossary of terms in involved with uh, judicial affairs. I'm sure that that is helpful for people that are uh, training to be lawyers and perhaps needing a you know glossary of things they're reading here. Uh, there's PowerPoint presentations. The three PowerPoint presentations to me looks like there was one that was a conjunction of uh, African Americans and Native Americans and then there was one that was separate to each of those contexts. We looked at them, they seemed a little dated but they looked to me like they were ready to be downloaded and presented to a classroom full of kids mm -hmm. if you needed a guide. And then finally there we have, uh, oh not finally, we have a justice biography quiz. This is was uh, typing in the answers. This was awfully long. It was like 25 questions and there was a capture field at the bottom and it just, I don't know man, it just seemed really dry, you know. And then finally, there's a links page that backlinks to a lot of Michigan resources in regards to history and education. And some, some, some are there for like the law or the Michigan State Bar. And um, yeah, and then finally, the, the final section that I'm going to kind of point out a little bit here is our calls to action. Uh, this is stuff that I think we're going to put at the header, footer, somewhere. It's always going to be accessible, no matter which of the three sections that you're currently in you're always going to be able to get to this and we've decided that ordering publications was something that was very big with them so we want to have that front and center we want to have a uh, join or renew a membership because let's face it that is frankly the reason we've been drafted onto this project is to help boost that uh, social media you know we want to start that getting more conform I think that'll show some results there uh, quick contact we want to have a way for people to volunteer. We want to have a way for students to intern. And then there's a tertiary page on the actual interns page that revolves around previous interns. Uh, so that is the video walkthrough of our uh, um, site tree.